I'll get started with the class. Hello? Am I audible? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Um, so without further ado, I'll get started uh, with, uh, I think what I'll do is um, cover the PowerPoint, okay? Um, or maybe I can start by uh, covering the basic concepts, okay? Um, that, um, that, that entail, okay? Hold on. Uh, that entail uh, cells, okay? So uh, yesterday what we did was uh, recap, uh, have a recap on uh, things that we had um, actually covered previously, uh, mainly uh, market research, business intelligence, and uh, and um, market intelligence. Uh, just a minute, uh, give me um, a sec, I'll be back. So, and, and we say marketing uh, research is kind of focused on uh, acquiring information about customers, uh, while market intelligence and business intelligence are all up, um, kind of mainly all about performance, competition, and trying to get an obvious to explain uh, one's performance, okay, or to help them uh, enhance or boost their performance. And, and we talked about um, market intelligence uh, being um, or being triggered by one's concerns about their performance relative to their competitors or um, whatever the case, uh, whatever you want to call them, the guys that are actually providing the same uh, product uh, within the, the same market. And then um, and we talked about strategies for executing that efficiently. One was reaching out to those guys. The other was uh, trying to actually uh, subscribe as a customer. Then you can talk to former employees uh, of those companies to find out exactly, uh, or you can hire the, the former employees or uh, you can make a higher offer and a better uh, offers in terms of remuneration and other things to guys that are um, operating within the competitor company so that you may either attract talent, but not only talent, but uh, you can be able to acquire information once they come into your company. So there are different ways of uh, actually executing uh, uh, market intelligence and uh, also business intelligence. Uh, and we talked about that um, at length. Um, I hope you guys can be able to to think outside the box and 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 uh, identify a situation where you need to do market intelligence or business intelligence and be able to invoke these different ways of actually uh, doing that. Okay. Uh, so today, what I would want to cover are um, is basically sales and things that relate to sales. Okay, and 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 from that, you guys can be able to come up with a sales strategy for the businesses you're trying to, to build or a sales plan, okay? I'm not going to cover a sales plan per se, but rather I'm going to give you all the concepts that, and uh, theory or knowledge that you would need to be able to come up with a comprehensive sales plan, okay? So kindly pay attention. Uh, maybe I should begin with a uh, whiteboard, okay? Um, first thing uh, to do with sales is um, uh, you getting an appreciation or understanding of uh, actually what sales uh, is all about, okay? And uh, what the main drivers are, um, and which will actually explain why people behave in certain ways, okay? Why sales people uh, behave in certain ways and uh, why the sales department is critical to any business or company uh, or, or enterprise, um, I mean, what do uh, depending on what you would want to call it, okay? So first, first you have to appreciate what sales is all about. 
and then uh, appreciate the people that actually perform sales roles, okay, or sales tasks. And then um, uh, probably I should uh, set up a screen. Uh, hold on. Let me know if you see a whiteboard. Um, not yet shared, but uh, right now I'm sharing it. I don't know whether you guys can see it. Can I get feedback regarding that? Can you guys see the whiteboard? I don't want to to go too far ahead and you tell me you're not seeing. Vincent Waswa, you're probably among the top guys in my screen. Can you see uh, my whiteboard? Okay, next is Anthony Ludu. Anthony, can you see uh, the whiteboard? Thank you. Okay. Uh, Vincent, you're sleeping? You logged in and jumped back into bed? Or you're taking a bath or something, preparing for the day? <laughs> okay. Um, seems some people log in and just get uh, go to other things, and which is a, a weakness with this uh, platform. But maybe I should start kicking out certain people that are not responding to me. Then they will realize, let me kick him out. Uh, Hold on, uh, remove, okay, let me put him in the waiting room. Then we'll see if he'll try to come back. Prosper, you're next in line. Are you there? Natamba and Stella also next in line. Uh, are you actually there? I'm going to put you in the waiting room if you're not responding. Stella is around. Oh, who is that? Okay, Stella, you're there. You've responded. That's good. Uh, so this guy is coming back, this Vincent guy. I'll, I'll, I'll first keep him out. <laughs> uh, Prosper. He's having, a, the speaker was, issues. he's having speaker issues. Okay, let me admit him. Uh, Stella, so you're his spokesperson, I guess. Or yeah, with... this is Stella. <laughs> uh, uh, Stella, are you there? Yes. Liberty, are you there? Ebitu, are you there? You don't respond, I'm sending you to the waiting room. I'm yes, I'm there. there, doctor. Okay, Flavia, are you there? Vanessa, Simoy. Flavia is there. Okay. Uh, Joy, Tina? Yes. Ivy? Please don't come to my class and just uh, go maybe yes. sleep. Okay. Uh, Azimura and Akongo. Maureen? Maureen, um... Present. You're present. Okay, I can see Bobby Wine is at class. Chagula. That is Clinton. I'm That's available. Hey, okay. Clinton. Yes. <laughs> Are you the PR of uh, Chagulanya? Yeah, a, a diehard. Chagulanya diehard. Okay, I'll put in the waiting room because I don't like politics in my class. Uh, so, yeah, let's uh, continue with whatever I wanted to cover. I just want to make sure you guys are actually within the class, okay? I don't want to have. I don't. I don't. I don't have just. I don't just have gadgets uh, logged in and I'm speaking to myself. Okay. So, f uh, what I was saying is, you have a, a, a bunch of things, okay? Uh, this is how I abstract the whole thing of uh, sales, okay? Uh, one is I want you to understand the whole concept of sales, uh, okay? Uh, sales activities. 
okay or 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 just what cells are okay next i would want you to understand the psychology of cells persons okay or cells in general and then next i want you to understand the activities cells activities If you get this, then the rest is a piece of cake, either addressing a sales issue, coming up with a sales strategy or sales plan, as the case may be, um, uh, trying to improve uh, a sales department or optimize their operations, okay? Now, uh, if you would want to, these guys who keep coming in bug me a lot, okay? Uh, sales. We say it sells is uh, has a lot to do with persuasion, isn't it? Or convincing, convincing somebody uh, to take certain actions, such that a cell, um, such that a cell is made. Now, what is a cell? A cell is, um, and we talked about this yesterday, is where you have a, um, a buyer actually acquiring a product, okay? And I've been misusing the word product. A product can be a service or a good, okay? It's a general name. It's, uh, I was using it to refer to a good. So where you have um, a buyer actually acquiring a product from a seller in exchange for money or in exchange for something that is of value, okay? So that is what a cell is, okay? But now, for you to be able to, um, for you to be able to understand, okay, um, what uh, all of this is about, okay, or what what cells are all about, you need to formalize what variables or what parameters, okay. Um, uh, exist uh, within the sales domain, okay, or the cell domain, and 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 the first parameter that actually exists is uh, the mode of sale, okay, uh, or the point of sale. Is it a physical location? So uh, parameters uh, we can call uh, okay, cell variables. Or parameters okay very important now under there we have mode of sale okay is it uh, at an outlet okay which might be a dealership a regular uh, a store or whatever it is okay or it is online extremely important okay then the resources expended to make sales. Resources expended, extremely important, okay? Uh, this could be the number of salespersons you, you, you're utilizing, yeah? or the number of outlets and how much rent in the per outlet and total rent, okay? Number of uh, salespersons and Okay, uh, points of sale. Okay, guys, if you need to carry this directly into your papers and it should be, uh, utilize it in uh, um, doing your projects, okay? Conceptualizing, formalizing your projects and uh, coming up with content, okay? For the sales strategy, okay? Uh, for your content. Please, please, please do that because you, you have a, a specific uh, component that's dedicated for that and has marks, okay? And what I'm giving is exactly what I expect, okay? Uh, with something more or with uh, a, a demonstration of an understanding of the content, okay? Uh, next are the cells, okay? And what are cells in this case? Has a lot to do with the time span within which cells are made. Uh, it has a lot to do with the volume of sales made and it has a lot to do with the value. Is that clear? 
Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. Yes. So that that gives you uh, a basic understanding of uh, of, um, of of cells in general. Okay. When somebody is talking of cells, first of all, they will be talking about, or they are trying to imply that there is an aspect of convincing or persuading. Okay. Um, um, sub, uh, maybe a potential customer or a customer, a returning customer, to be able to transact, okay, or to make a sale get done, okay, or to complete a sale, okay. Hello. Uh, can you mute, uh, can you make sure you're all muted? Because uh, I don't want to get into that. Grace, can you mute? I guess it's Grace who is uh, muted. I've asked you to mute, so mute yourself. If you don't, I'm putting you in the waiting room. Um, so Chan, Chan, Chandiru, I guess, Grace is the one that I'm talking about. So that, that is at a high level, okay? Um, um, what sales is about. Then another aspect that comes uh, with sales is... Um, is, is the point is, is, is the fact that uh, sales actually are a point where a customer actually interacts with the business and gets to experience the business okay so the other thing about sales remember we're covering sales okay, generally at a high level okay uh, it is a point where you have intimate and this is extremely important intimate interaction. Uh, between um, between the business and the customer. So what does that mean? Uh, that means that your point of sale and your sales people, your resources have to be top notch, okay? Sales people. Uh, please mute your videos, guys, uh, because I'm getting disruption here. Uh, sales people and your points of sale plus other things, okay? Points of sale have to be top-notch or seamless. Yeah. Let me see, what do I do? Uh, it is difficult for me. Sometimes I don't have that option to mute everyone and uh, it distracts me. Guys, just make sure that you're all, uh, you're all muted, please. Uh, you got, okay, you guys muted, yes. Um, I would have to scroll through, which is a waste of time. Please make sure you're muted. Uh, so that we don't get feedback or disruption, okay? Um, so like I was saying, this is where, um, I mean, uh, sales um, is a point at which a customer actually gets to intimately interact with the business, okay? And um, that means that they build a customer experience, okay? At that point of sale, um, uh, but, but uh, which actually feeds into their psychology and, and, and could contribute to whether they actually um, remain loyal to your business and return um, or, or behave as or become part of the returning customers or they actually convert or switch, okay? As uh, is usually referred to within this domain, okay? So you guys uh, need to know that uh, sales is actually extremely delicate role uh, within a business or company uh, or if is an extremely delicate department that needs uh, sufficient resources expended or put aside when you're doing planning and budgeting uh, to make sure that um, uh, um, to make sure that um, everything goes right the customer experience is good and uh, you're having customers return uh, probably a very high percentage if not all uh, the customers return and uh, you have uh, them actually spreading the word to to other um, users of similar products so that they may convert from those products and start to use your product, okay? 
So, okay, indirectly it is a way of marketing, yes, but uh, uh, it, it, it falls within the docket of the sales uh, roles or sales department or sales uh, activities, okay? Um, something else I wanted to mention is that uh, customers build um, their experience of a business or company at the point of sale, okay? It's not only at the point, uh, at the point of sale, it is uh, also um, built uh, from the after sale services that are given to them, but also uh, through the use of the product. And when I talk about product, I'm referring to the goods and services or goods or services uh, that have been uh, procured um, or uh, got and are being consumed uh, by that customer who is building an experience. So uh, sales is a very, very critical and pivotal point uh, in your business. And so you have to take care of it. Um, it it's just like um, if you are a business and you'd want to portray an image, I wouldn't want to say portray an image because an image means kind of implies that you're actually uh, giving a false representation of yourself. But in, in case you'd want to show people exactly who you are, uh, the, the, the sales is a very, very good point um, uh, at which uh, you can actually show people uh, who you are uh, firsthand without uh, marketing or uh, talking about yourself, okay? It's just like the reception, okay? When uh, people come to your business uh, or your showrooms or your outlets, okay? If there's a very uh, strong, good uh, or conducive ambience about it, then it speaks volumes about your business. But if you have uh, um, um, like the, the areas that you receive customers uh, to actually either scan through your products and uh, uh, that is goods and services or to actually uh, purchase. Uh, if, if, if it is very uh, unconducive, the ambience is really negative, it gives a negative energy, negative vibe, then you're going to have a lot of issues uh, in as far as the customer's perception of your business and, and most likely that may be extended or projected to the, to the product that you're selling, okay? Uh, and so it, it's extremely important. I can't overemphasize how it's extremely important for you to make sure that at this point of interaction, intimate interaction between the business and the customer, that is at the points of sale uh, or, or, or during a sale, either in the virtual environment or um, within a physical environment, non-virtual environment, um, how extremely important it is and how, how many resources and how much time uh, you need to dedicate to this. And this applies to your project, guys, okay? You need to dedicate enough information. Uh, for example, I think Sheila is, um, I don't know that she's in class, uh, but she mentioned that her group is doing a, a Katogo, uh, a, a Katogo uh, business. So she has to think about who the salespeople are, what the points of sale are. Okay, the point, points of sale in this case would be the outlets or the restaurants that she has. And, and I told you that, uh, that that is a point where people experience your business, get to know what your business is, uh, using that as an example. And so the ambience there is, is, is the most critical, extremely critical. You want to make sure people, if you're targeting university students, uh, you need to find out what it is that they need besides uh, eating food there. Uh, do they need a space to work and do an assignment or discuss? And if they do, do they have uh, sufficient power outlets? Do they have a comfortable uh, desk and uh, chair to sit on? Uh, is there very adequate, uh, I mean, adequate lighting? Is uh, the air circulation good? Uh, are there sufficient um, or, 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 or toilets that um, are in good condition, well-maintained? and kept clean? Um, is there like uh, Wi-Fi? Um, and, and also your salespeople, what, who are your salespeople for a restaurant? Your salespeople for the restaurant are typically your waiters and waitresses, okay? So how many of them do you have? Uh, what experience do they give the customers? And so you need to invest a lot in that, okay? I'm just giving this as an example. And, and these are things I'm going to be asking you um, during your project. Like, like I told you, I lay all the cards on the table uh, in as far as what I expect as a write-up from you guys and uh, what my guide is. Uh, I'm, I'm actually just speaking of the, the points that are in my marking guide, okay? And the questions that I'll be asking you in your presentation. 
uh, Sheila and, and, and the group and, and all the other groups, okay? So please uh, do like justice to this section and make sure that you scoop all the points, okay? All the marks, I, I really don't care uh, whether you get 100% or not, uh, I'll, I'll give it to you without uh, hesitation. So make sure that um, you, you, you're covering that aspect uh, very well because it, it's, it, it's extremely critical, okay? So like I, like I mentioned, the points uh, at which um, a customer interacts with your business are extremely critical and pivotal to the success or the image built by the customers. Uh, uh, about that business and and, and and consequently the products, okay, uh, or services, okay. Somebody may have an extremely good product in terms of quality and price and uh, durability and other things that uh, come with it. But if the customer experience at the point of sale and after sale is extremely nasty, somebody will, um, that person, may uh, that customer or those customers that are extremely sensitive and most are uh, to, to are sensitive to the way they are treated, uh, the experience that they build um, at the point of sale may convert and they may never return to your business, okay? So I, I can't over uh, emphasize this, okay? Um, so try to work on that. Um, um, I mean, make sure that it is there. Uh, within your write-ups, okay? So the next thing we want to talk about, we've talked about sales. Uh, Henry, what is the next point we're supposed to talk about? Well, what's the next knowledge aspect we need to talk about? We say sales generally, understanding sales as a background. Uh, sales persons. Very good, I, I'm impressed, you're attentive. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, okay, that's good. <laughs> Uh, Henry is my student and I'm just a research student. I've been shaking him up a bit, probably that's why he's attentive. So uh, Henry, tell us what, what do you know about salespeople or salespersons? Or what is important? First of all, you want to think, to think about if let's say from the context of uh, the example that I gave you of Sheila's business, Katogo business, you want to know how many salespeople you have, right? You're going to have, and, and those would be waiters and waitresses in this case. Isn't it? Yes. Design workers, okay? Yes. Uh -huh. What else may be important? Uh, how those workers interact with the uh, customers. Very good. What else? Uh, Christian? And, uh, okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably how they, they handle the, the, the business as a whole. Be more Let's specific. Say, I don't like being generic. I don't like being evasive, abstract, or fuzzy. Okay, I want you to be specific. Okay, uh, are the are the sales persons honest? Let's say those handling the money. Good. And let, let's say for Sheila's Katogo, when preparing the food, are they really clean? What all that? Eh? No, they don't prepare food. Our sales roles are different from production. You guys should know that, isn't it? The guys in production are different from the sales. Okay. They don't engage in production. So your cooks would be the production uh, department or production roles, okay? Your okay. chefs or whoever it is eh, would be in production. Uh, sales would typically be the people that actually convince you or persuade you and give you enough information, okay, to make that transaction uh, or to help them make that sale. That's it. Okay, uh, and that includes the people who actually make you a performa invoice. You know what a performa invoice is? It's like a quotation. If you wanted to buy a laptop, I mean, they invo indirectly make you an offer or give you a performa invoice. Per unit of this laptop with these specifications will be 5 million or 3 million, whatever the case may be. Okay, and then once you, you're making that sale, uh, the cash has get also invoked, right? And so you maybe give your details and then a receipt is written for you, depending on whether you're pay, paying everything in one shot or not, okay? So uh, that, that is extremely important. But, but what is it that I, I wanted to, uh, to, to bring out over here? I don't know that I, I need to keep writing. Uh, okay, you guys usually like to be spoon fed. Let me put sales persons, okay? Okay. 
or sell pass yeah sell pass uh, sales person doesn't really matter what is it that is extremely important about this this person one is that they always have targets uh always sorry when i when i pause or get a bit distracted i'm letting in some guys who are late um always have targets and this is extremely important okay uh if you're hired by business let's say caterpillar or um whatever uh, company may have equipment that they would want to sell. They are going to give you targets whether you like it or not, okay? And those targets may be weekly, they may be monthly, they may be quarterly. Now it's up to you to, to make sure that you actually achieve those targets, okay? They may equip you uh, with the tools and knowledge that you need to achieve those targets, but it's up to you to make those targets. So uh, wh what does this mean? It means that the key driver for a salesperson is to make sales, right? And that's what defines a very good or seasoned self, salesperson. And, and that gives rise to a conflict uh, of interest, okay? Or an ethical issue. Uh, in that, in most cases, the salesperson may not have the best interest of the customer at heart. You get me? Because they are conflicted, okay? They would want to provide you what you want, okay? Because you will always tell them what you want, right? Because those are the people you're talking to. They represent the business. Uh, let's give an example of a laptop or a phone. If you go to buy a laptop, you're going to probably go and you're extremely naive and you're probably going to seek direction, isn't it? Now, ethical issues arise when this person actually uh, notices that you're being educated, okay, about the product. Okay, not only their product, but the product in general. So what they're going to try to do is to make sure that they make a sale, okay? Uh, or make sales, uh, in, in, and they're going to try to maximize the, the quantity or the volume, but also their return, okay? So they are going to try to play around with the price and they're going to also play around with the quantities, okay? If there's a product that maybe gets them a big bonus, okay? Uh, if they achieve their targets, they are going to probably push you towards that product, towards, or they are going to bias you towards that product. And you as a customer, you know, this course is not all about uh, making you sales people, making you seasoned business people or training sales people, but it's also supposed to empower you uh, and educate you about how to be, behave when you're on the other side. Because businesses also, uh, like I told you, you can change uh, from being uh, uh, in the selling position uh, to being in the buying position, okay? You might be a retailer who actually buys something, either raw materials or semi-processed products or finally processed products, and you sell them to other people. So when you're on the other side, uh, on, the, on, on the opposite side of the coin, then you want to understand the psychology of salespeople, okay? You know that they are driven by targets, Okay, extremely important. What are these targets? You have uh, maybe sales volumes within a given time span or uh, value, sales values, but also they are driven by bonuses and rewards. Okay. So what does that do? It gives rise to what? It gives rise to conflict. If any of you ever go for an interview, okay, uh, to become a salesperson, which is actually very likely. And this I picked from a former roommate of mine uh, at the university. He was doing civil too, but he, he was trying to get a job, I think either with David and Shaftlift, uh, they sell equipment, pumps, water pumps. And so they wanted to give him a sales job. Uh, usually they'll, they'll also hire technical people for sales. Why? Because there's an aspect of uh, specifications and understanding the product and you know you 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 probably easily understand it very well and where it is going to be used okay if it is an equipment or something physical 
okay uh, better than somebody who is uh, out of the domain okay and, and so why he didn't go through that um that interview though he was thankful that he didn't go through because he eventually got a job where he's he's actually uh flying so high and prospering but, but uh, they asked him on the panel one question what is it that your main role is going to be over here and 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 on what the panelists actually wanted to hear is i'll be coming to sell 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 and sell or to make okay sales 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 and more sales okay when you hired or you're being hired uh, into a sales role okay note that your main objective is volumes values that is it and you're going into a role that is uh, highly, highly, highly target driven. Okay, highly target driven. There is no room for stories. Your performance is measured based on sell volumes and uh, sell values. Okay, and, and and the sales could be actually uh, attracting customers. Okay, uh, to to your business, as assuming it's let's say a business like a telecom company. Okay, so if you're making sales. Your job is maybe say to register new customers, so your salesperson in line with that. At the end of the month, when they are evaluating your performance, it's not about how many hours you put into your job. If you put in half the time or quarter the time, and you have a performance metrics that out out or or outdo your counterparts who put in the regular time plus overtime. Uh, your manager is not going to really care, okay? Because that is how the world is. So it is it is goal driven, extremely goal driven or target driven, and you guys need to know that, okay? But uh, for most businesses that are set up uh, in a really good way, you will find that uh, there will be bonuses, okay, or rewards associated with performance. Is that okay? Yes or no? That's fine. Okay. It's okay. 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 So I, I think we've we are getting seven. Let's just jump to the PowerPoint and uh, and and and, and we we'll go through the main points so that we are not missing anything. Okay. I think you've got enough um, basis. Okay. Uh, or background uh, to this whole thing. Okay. Um, share that PowerPoint. Uh, hold on. You share. This is PowerPoint cells. So, are you guys able to see that PowerPoint? I have uh, the first slide open that is sales and sales strategy. Liberty, are you able to see it? Somebody called Liberty. Yes, I can. Okay. So uh, let's go through it. So sales and sales strategies, okay? I'm just going to cover the basic concepts and you guys will come up with uh, strategies, okay? Um, so I hope you can see that slide clearly. And uh, so what it is all about is basically uh, telling us what sales is about the first thing okay then we'll go to the sales uh, people and then we shall go or persons and then we shall cover the activities okay that's how i told you that uh, i kind of break or formalize this knowledge so sales is synonymous with persuasion or convincing one to transact that is making make a sale happen and then transactions you know what they are we've covered that then parameters or variables okay uh, maybe I should put here all variables because parameters don't change, right? Variables change of interest in, in sales entail the mode uh, to execute these sales. Uh, then the resources expended, those would be the number of sales persons that you're making use of or the number of points of sale and the nature, okay? 
and their nature, okay? And their nature, nature or attributes, okay? Uh, then uh, the other thing is uh, uh, cells themselves, okay? Uh, are, are another variable and, and those are defined based on the period within which they are made, uh, the volumes, okay? Of quantity or size and the value, okay? Uh, their volumes. Okay, uh, made. The next slide, uh, we are talking about uh, cells in general. Uh, and I mentioned that uh, uh, the cells is a point at which the customer intimately interacts with the business, okay? And what really matters at that point is to build a good customer experience, okay? So if it is a point of sale, remember I have points of sale and then the resources which are the which are the salespersons, okay? Those have to be top notch. That is what I'm saying on this slide. And so what they need to do is if it's a salesperson, provide a, a good customer experience through education, uh, during sales services and after sales services that are actually adequate or good, okay? Uh, then what are the objectives of, sorry, sorry about that, uh, a bit of a typo in space. One is to maximize uh, sales at reasonable prices, minimize returns, uh, minimize resources uh, expended, okay? Resource expenditures in warranties, minimize damages, optimize and manage inventory uh, or stock, okay? And uh, a salesperson, okay? That's basically background about sales. Now, salesperson, okay? Uh, you need to understand the salesperson very well, okay? Uh, first of all, they need to be able to educate, they, they need to have certain attributes, okay? Anyway, let me follow the slide so I, I don't digress. Their main job is to, to make a sale, okay? Or to make sales and achieve their targets, okay? And, and, and with this uh, come uh, a number of things. One is that uh, they will probably not always be ethical or honest uh, because they are conflicted, okay? They may not have the best interest of the of the customer, okay? Uh, because of that, but also they will be well. They, they will be um, they they will be driven because they have targets and uh, there are usually rewards associated with achieving those targets, okay? Or surpassing uh, those those targets, okay? So th that salesperson need to have adequate knowledge about the company, the products, and and the products and the customers' needs, eh? And uh, sales uh, people, like I mentioned, uh, interface uh, or interact intimately with customers at points of sale, okay? Um, next is uh, an abstraction of the activities. These are now sales activities. Remember, we talked about sales generally. We've talked about sales people and what their attributes are, what kind of controls them. And then... Uh, one slide I think I should add here is the points of sale. Eh? That, that's extremely important. Uh, but an abstraction, you'll, uh, the, this is my own abstraction, by the way. Um, I, I don't know that it exists somewhere, but I just came up with it to simplify the way you understand things and the way I deliver them. So you have before sales uh, activities or services, then during sales activities or services, and then after sales activities or services. And you can put your bullet points under there to abstract the entire thing, okay? Uh, for in preparation for your exam or present, presenting your uh, your PPT for the project or uh, or uh, writing up the project, okay. And so before sales services include uh, making uh, you have three main pointers, and the first one is um, is the inventory or stock. The next one is generating different options or product uh, product options um, uh, or packages. And the other is um, um, being able to abstract all the specifications, okay? And uh, summarize them in Procure or in the salesperson's brain. Now, uh, as far as inventory is concerned, you want to make sure that you have enough uh, units or parts or whatever it is. Uh, that the customer is in, in is interested in having. You don't want to run out. That is in the sales role, okay? If, if somebody wants a certain type of laptop, uh, certain quantities, you want to have them. Otherwise, you're going to have a, a sales problem on your hand. The other thing is you want to have different options, okay, available. You don't want to have one option and then you say you've run out of that option. Uh, you don't have, or, or sorry, yeah, you don't have other options. 
and yet somebody is interested in different options. The other is generating uh, lucrative packages and and, 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 and and these are extremely important and their sales role. And, and one you guys relate with very well is the telecom um, uh, business or service where we have different bundles for voice and different bundles or different offerings or packages for data. Uh, another that is uh, common for guys who drive is the at, the at the gas pump, you have different like brands or different options there. This is all about sales, okay? They might put additives in there, uh, for Uganda, what I hear is um, the, the the regular gas is actually adulterated gas, and I've actually come to realize that in terms of the rate at which or the mileage it will get you for each liter that you get. So you find that um, the higher grade of gasoline is, uh, I think at Shell it's referred to as V power, and at uh, uh, this is not excessive. I think Excelium, right? That is at uh, like a total, okay. The equivalent of the power so they say it's a higher grade uh, additives put in there more environment environmentally friendly but in the context of uganda what they are telling you i think is that uh, you're either buying a genuine uh, an unadulterated gas or you buy the regular which has i don't know whether they mix diesel in there or i don't know what they mix in there honestly but it's just a crop uh, and uh, it will just spoil your car over time and uh, performance, deteriorate performance, and will get burnt into thin air like it's, it's nothing. Um, so so th those are examples of options that, are, uh, that people come up with when they're in sales. And, and usually you, you find the sales uh, guys are in charge of uh, advising the entire business on, on what volumes to stock, uh, for how long to run these options, okay? And, and and things like that okay and for vehicles also you have the same thing you have basic uh, vehicles same type of ve vehicle same type same make same model but you'll have basic then you'll have sport you'll have all these add-ons uh, and, and there'll be prices associated with those uh different options okay and that is another role okay before sale role that uh, you need to have um understand the other is uh profiling or understanding the product specs, okay? And uh, for example, if you're going to buy an electronic gadget, uh, you're probably going to either get educated or you're going to be educated before and uh, go to the salesperson and uh, confirm whether they have exactly what you want, okay? Uh, and this is common with uh, electronic gadgets, cars, and a lot of equipment, okay? Uh, during sales or at, at point of sale, okay, services, one is you have to look at or handle or decide uh, the mode uh, of points of sale. Are they going to be physical stores, okay? Traditional outlets, franchises, or whatever. Are they going to be online stores so you're going to have uh, both for your business? Uh, please make sure you capture these things, okay? Uh, the, also, you have roles associated with creating performer invoices. Uh, those are the, like, I offer, I'll offer you these services at this price. That is all it is saying. Uh, then generating receipts is another activity, a sales activity at the point of sale. Uh, then price determination, okay? Uh, what price are you going to sell? Um, what price, at what price are you going to sell uh, your product, okay? Um, are you going to use market pricing? Uh, we've talked about that. Are, we, are you going to use independent pricing where you build up the price internally as a business to make sure that you're making profit and you're disregarding what's in the market? Are you doing limit pricing where you're saying, I, I'm, I'm actually taking minimal or no profit? Are you doing predatory pricing to push out guys and uh, you're losing money? In terms of profit, you're not making profit. The other uh, sell or uh, at sell a service uh, that is available is promotions and discounts. Okay, uh, and and the purpose for for having these is to either clear stock 
or to attract new customers or to retain uh, existing uh, customers or returning customers. And examples could include, uh, these could take different forms, okay? You'd have maybe percentage here, a percentage discounted on the, on the total price of a unit or the unit price, okay? Uh, or you have one that talks about either get buy one, get one free, or, or get uh, two free, or get one, the other one at half price, or maybe, uh, and that is similar to buy uh, air tickets and then get the maybe tenth free, uh, those air mile uh, kind of um, programs. Yes? Uh, somebody had a question or something? Okay. Uh, then the other thing that is an, um, is during sales service is the payment options, okay, uh, that, that can be used. And, and that could be cash or card, and that could be full payment or payment over a period of time, I purchase, okay? And all those financial agreements that need to be made, especially if it's going to be paid over time, okay? Uh, how much will be paid uh, at what time, okay? And is there interest charged on whatever is left? Uh, for example, in mortgage, in the case of mortgages, okay? Oh, then after sale services, you have uh, things uh, that are related to that include uh, the exchange policy, the return policy, and, and for each of these ones, uh, you want to find out which goods um, these are applicable to. For example, if uh, I'll give you a very good example, and I, I think I should put it here. Uh, probably uh, undergarments, um, undergarments probably can't be returned, eh? can't be returned uh, because uh, of ethical issues or health issues, you get me? Uh, something else I would expect not to be returned is uh, probably drugs, mm? if you're buying medicine, uh, I don't think they would um, accept one to return. It. There are certain goods, once you've purchased them, uh, they depreciate like fully, okay, almost 100%, uh, be just because of the nature um, of the good, but not only the nature of the good, it's like fruits, if you buy them and you take them, like you're not going to get home and say, oh, I'm returning your tomatoes, uh, like I realized that they are not as good as I had wanted, it's going to cause a big issue, huh? Um, no, normally, they will not accept returns for things like that, perishables and uh, things that have um, a psychology associated with them, but also public health uh, issues associated with them, like undergarments uh, over there. So you need to know and decide which uh, products, uh, that is goods or services, uh, returns can be applicable to or exchange can be applicable to, and also what timelines uh, you're going to to, to put on those, okay? And, and these are usually informed by, um, by research, okay? And you don't just randomly come up with, uh, you should have, uh, if you're to make a return and we accept it or make an exchange, it should be within seven days, okay? Um, of, of, of the, uh, from the day of, or the time of purchase, okay? You have to make it very clear. Then uh, also, uh, what other requirements? Should there be no damages? Should it be within the container or the, the packaging has to be returned. Well, it could have been opened, but it has to come back with the packaging. Should you come back with a receipt? So all those, those are things that need to be hashed out. Eh? And if you're doing a business that is going to likely have issues like this uh, coming up, uh, for Sheila's business, probably issues of return policy and exchange may not come up. I mean, you You've bought food, you've bought food, okay? So it falls in the category of uh, undergarments. Uh, maybe while at the premises or at the point of sale, uh, you can say, you guys have served, served me this type of tea and it's not what I ordered for. Uh, and so maybe uh, there should be a policy on, on what and needs to be done. Do they actually make you another cup of tea at no extra uh, cost? And um, uh, who do they penalize the salesperson? Do they like consider it as their as part of their wastage or cost of doing business? Uh, those are things that you need to hash out. Okay, uh, something else still um, as an after sales service, and this is very heavy uh, on equipment is warranty. Okay, so what for how 
for how long is the warranty valid? Uh, for most vehicles, you'll find that uh, 100, the first 100,000 kilometers, uh, the manufacturer will cover it. And so you will uh, take the vehicle in, just drive the vehicle into a dealership or author authorized dealer, and they'll actually fix whatever it is that is an issue, okay? Sometimes they have exceptions on things they will not fix. Uh, obviously, things like tires, things that are consumable, oil filters, you know, those things that... Uh, so, so, so you need to know what is covered. Is it all parts? Is it some parts? And are they covering all the labor uh, for getting the warranty done or just part of uh, just part of it. And that is the last uh, slide. Does this uh, make sense to you guys? Uh, because this is uh, all that I had for you guys and as far as sales is concerned. And I would expect you to be able to use this knowledge to uh, come up with the right uh, for your paper, uh, be able to come up with good strategies and plans for your businesses, but also be able to uh, use this knowledge not only within the test and exam, uh, but also uh, out there as you're practicing. Uh, any questions? Uh, who is near here? Joel Jonathan. Any questions? Not really. Okay, and next is Vanessa Asimwe. Any questions? Okay, you have audio issues. Amanya Christian or anyone else? Any question? No. no okay. 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 You guys uh, have a nice day and uh, let's cover marketing uh, uh, on Friday morning. And uh, please make sure that this content is actually uh, put within uh, your projects, okay? Because it's, uh, it's a very critical and important component. And uh, Clinton, uh, please make sure that you're focusing on your research, get it done. Uh, Bobby Wine or whatever people power is not going to get to your degree, okay? You can, after you've achieved or done what, what it is I need you to do, you can go to that stuff, okay? So, yeah, talk to you guys uh, Friday. Uh, have a nice day.